connecting cables to a 120 ohm DDF. When connecting the DB44 connector, leverly insert the connector to prevent the internal pins of the connector from being curved. Determine the receive and transmit ends of the E1 cable according to the actual wire sequence table and network planning design. Use little force forward to press the cable with the neck until you hear a crack tone. The cable is punched in the bare copper opening of the DDF. The transmit and receive ends on one side of the E1 cable are connected to the receive and transmit ends on the other side of the E1 cable respectively. <laughs> 